TNT barbecue with a sudden explosive taste. I'm out here, guys. I got my new grill. Uh, well, new used grill. I got it seasoned. I got it burning a nice, clean, thin smoke. Today, what I have for you, want to zoom in for me? Is I got these uh, black Angus beef ribs I'm doing. A lot of y'all have seen the videos how I season them. Uh, so uh, basically, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find out uh, how good this grill can cook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the beef ribs in like such. Okay, guys? So um, I'm laying these in like such. Okay? And what I'm doing is, uh, let me put this liquid in here right here. So, okay. So let me talk about, um, let me talk about barbecue first of all. Okay, guys. So as you can see, my fire is burning very thin. You don't see a lot of smoke. You, you see smoke, but you don't see where the fire is actually, uh, the smoke is actually white. You see a thin smoke. Okay. Second of all, my fire is uh, flaming, okay? It's not smothered out. It's flaming. That's what you want. You want flame, okay? So to achieve that, I have my wood and I have my charcoal in there. I have probably about uh, four pounds of charcoal, a log, and a couple small chunks of wood about this big. Apple and oak. So, um... What I plan to do is smoke this uh, barbecue for approximately five hours. So I'm going to try to not wrap this rib, okay? So this is going to be a whole rib cook unwrapped. I'm spritzing it with, um, excuse me, I got some rub on it, with some Coke, apple juice, and some vinegar. So that's why I'm spritzing these beef ribs with, okay? I got it rubbed down with some caverners, uh, some coarse ground black pepper, a little coarse ground salt, caverners grease season, and some paprika. So that's why I got it rubbed down on those beef ribs, okay? And as you can see, guys, the smoke is really uh, dissipating for the uh, thickness of the smoke. I got it uh, cooking uh, pretty good. So I'm going to close down the top. Uh, so this is, this is going to be part one. Of the videos I'm making, uh, basically, I did I did find out what this is. This is a Brickman Trail, a Brickman smoker, but it's it's a nice Brickman smoker. So I'm looking forward to doing plenty more cooks on this thing. Like I said, I'm keeping it spritzed down, guys, and keeping the moisture in it. And I want to give some shout outs right now. So the first shout out I would like to give is to a, a channel that uh, I was looking at. He did a um, he did a, um, I think it was a, um, um, a, not a pot roast, but a, a, a beef stew. A beef stew. It was Bad Beast Barbecue. Uh, so I like to give a shot to Bad Beast Barbecue. And what got my attention is he said, hey guys, I messed up. I put um, flour on this stew meat and basically it stuck to the bottom. So I had to scrape everything out. So please don't do that. So that tells me that he cares about his subscriber. He cares about his recipes. And I and um I was telling my wife, I'm gonna start trying that. I have a pressure cooker too. So I'm gonna have to start trying some of this bad beast barbecue pressure cooker. Um another one I like to give a, a shout out to is um my boy Tango Joe. Uh Tango Joe, I mean I love all his recipes. I love his midnight espresso rub. I'm we'll to have to get me some more of that Tango Joe. Uh, I tell you what, guys, and Coakley's Barbecue. Coakley's Barbecue, my goodness. I consider him a good friend. So, but also, the man got great product. Uh, so, uh, order you some Coakley's Barbecue sauce. It goes good on everything. It's an awesome barbecue sauce. And, um, you know, uh, I got two more guys I want to give a shout out to. One of them be Joe, Southern Coastal Cooking. Joe, you know, um, Joe has a new grill plus his Yoder. I left some comments saying, don't forget about the Yoder, Joe. Don't forget about the Yoder. I know he's not, but, um, you know, guys, and, you know, my boys that I always mention, which, you know, close to my heart, my boy Kirby Q, my boy Live for No Hippie Barbecue. And, guys, uh, pray for Daddy Cooks. 
So, uh, you know, and I would like to thank all the veterans out here that, that, that is serving in the military. Pray for Paris. But, guys, let me tell you something, guys. We got a great barbecue community. And um, we, we uplift each other. When one hurt, all of us hurt. When one rejoice, all of us rejoice. So, with that being said, guys, we're going to bring another video to you. So, let, let, let's just get a rundown of what we're doing, okay? Uh, we, we, got this, we got the smoker. It's smoking pretty good, guys. So, I'm going to throw some more smoke on it. We got everything going up the temp. So, we're going to get ready to just let it do its thing. So, we'll be back with you in about three or four more hours. Peace.